area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Cookies, but I let him run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. That's Damn, heavy. don't like the walk, he like the tech. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, rightsgangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Debo, Debo, what is going on right now? From what I see from my vantage point, Coffee Brown versus Miss Hustle, the battle that everybody wanted to see. Has this battle been can has this battle been canceled? Now I don't want to start a narrative today, but I'm just telling you what I saw on Twitter and what people have been tweeting and what I've spoke to Coffee Brown about. This battle not happening. So I the promotion for this battle has been crazy. The buildup has been crazy. Everybody's been talking about it. Coffee Brown's been doing her research. She's been doing her promotion. She said her rounds is ready. But before we even get into that, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be balance, you know what I'm saying? Balance is stability found at the center of acceptance. So Don Marino, Don Marino battled Danny Myers back in February. Uh, I see the battle came out in February, like February 20 something, and it's almost July. He set a bar versus real sick, about 12K. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the K through 12. Real sick set a bar to Danny Myers, K through 12. When I recap Danny Myers versus um, Don Marino, my expression was I wanted Don Marino to do some different things. I said the same angles that people are using versus Danny Myers were starting to get played out because I never said he was whack. I never said he was garbage. I never said that he. That guy, pal, trust me, you're not that guy. All right, so. You know, he puts it together, he puts it out, and it's like everybody's, oh, why do people hate on Dom? I don't hate on Dom Marino. I recap Dom Marino versus Chess, which was one of his first big looks. Him versus Geechee, him and Swamp, a bunch of battles that he's had. I hope he does well, but at the end of the day, my nigga, I did not remember. I don't remember. I do not remember battles from four or five months ago. If a battle happens this weekend, I don't even remember the shit that happened on Gnome. It's a brain dump. I write the bars down, I react to them, and then that's it. The, but I will say this, the way Real Sick delivered his, his cadence, the way his was packaged, the way he presented it, and it was in the middle of a body bag, is way different than if a battle happens and it's the other way around. Like if you look on the URL app, everybody has Danny Myers winning. It's not my, it ain't my fault Danny Myers people have him winning the battle. But salute to him. It's no hate, I don't hate on Don Marino, I got no reason to hate on him. I hope everything is well. But let's get back into this shit right here. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
it's not me, bro. I'm not that guy. But anyway, um, so J he says he's calling Jazz and Fit right now. I know that's a, uh, I know that's a joke. I know he's just joking and shit like that. But it's, if this battle doesn't go down, it looks crazy. Um, someone else said, um, heard she got bars. You silly. I'm genuinely upset though because I had you for performance of the night, battle of the night. If they agree to have the battle on Summer Madness, would you accept and reschedule? Coffee says no. She had four months. None of the other girls had this amount of time. She's pathetic. Then Coffee Brown goes on to say, Coffee Brown, 3-0 trailer and Twitter. That's all we're ever getting because it's a motherfucking dub, I swear to God. So then um, I spoke to Coffee Brown um, for just a second and I let her know, you know what I'm saying? I, she said, who do I think that she should take on Kings versus Queens? I said, her versus Easy would be dope. Her versus Rock. Uh, maybe the A-Ward battle with three rounds. Oh, Red, Shotgun Show, you know, battles like that. And she was asking, should she drop her rounds? I told her that I think she should drop a round. Like I said, I have not heard from Miss Hustle. I have not heard from Debo. I did call, but I know Debo's probably going through a whirlwind right now. So I'll probably hear from him sometime soon. But uh, so far, the latest is that uh, that battle is not happening. Um, it is dope to see where the female battle rap has been trending to and how they've been getting looks and they was doing their thing on Kings versus Queens two, one and Kings versus Queens two and now they was having this big event but Coffee versus Miss Hustle was clearly the main event. It was the one that people wanted to see. It was the one that people was talking about and now you have a scenario as to where the battle may not be happening. I don't know what the reason is so I'm not gonna speculate or create a narrative saying that anybody's ducking or nothing like that. I've seen what Coffee Brown said. That's her words, not mine. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all niggas love to come at the bloggers and shit, so we're gonna not make it my word. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna make it what I heard. What I heard is not my word. Um, but I do would like to see her back in the ring pretty soon. Uh, I would like to see, I would like to see this battle happen, honestly. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna happen. I do not know. But from what I've seen so far today, it's looking like it's probably not gonna happen. Like, it, it, from the outside looking in. Um, you, got, uh, you got a lot of other dope battles on the card. You got E-Heart versus uh, First Lady Flames. That is dope. You got the Shuni and Vixen. That is dope. Um, you got the 40 on it. You got a lot of dope joints on there. KCJ shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's a dope card overall, but that, that main ingredient to this joint that was gonna really make it pop like people really wanted to see with the promotion and the shit talking and all of that. Uh, it, it was that was that Coffee Brown versus Miss Hustle, you know what I'm saying? Coffee Brown was doing some, she was wilding with the promotion. She went and got the the surgeon the, where Hustle got the body done and she posted that and she was posting, like she was wilding. I ain't gonna lie, I said that, um, they should have a damn pool table between them. Like they gonna need a pool table between them. They gonna need security, all type of shit, because the way that that was going was super crazy. Like it just was, it was a lot to take in. And the way they was promoting was so crazy that I didn't even get a chance to like take small little things because it was happening so fast. Like by the time one drop one, another drop a bomb, two more bombs is dropped. It's like, bro, by the time I blog on one thing, four or five other things didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So. It, w it was definitely um, a crazy ass scenario, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, But like I said, I do hope that they do find some kind of common ground to still get it done because everybody wanted to see that we won. This is the one, Debo. Is Debo to blame? Are we blaming Debo for this? Are we gonna blame? <laughs> nah, you can't really blame. I'm not gonna blame Debo for this because he's the league on me. They did what they were supposed to do. They did good business. They got the artist booked. So I know while a lot of people would love to swing the narrative Debo's way, you really can't because he don't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a fact he was very excited for this battle. He's very excited from this card. And that's just from speaking to him. So to see that it's going down like how it's going down, sometimes the games are being played. How's it going down? It looks kind of crazy, but like I said, I'm not gonna panic. Uh, in two weeks, in a week time, it's supposed to be next week. Is it next week? I think it's next week, the 26th. You're not gonna get nobody to battle her in that amount of time. That 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 that, that it just don't work. Life don't work like that, B. It, it's just not gonna work without somebody choking, without somebody stumbling all over the place. It'd be very hard to put together a battle that fast. Maybe a one rounder, but who wants to see a one rounder? Nobody wants to see a, a 
a one round battle. But I will say, uh, you know, salute to Coffee Brown, salute to Miss Hustle. Hopefully they can work that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else is going on? Salute to Don Marino and DNA. The funny thing is, like, y'all, people be thinking like we have an issue. Like, DNA even said it in his blog yesterday when he was on talking real sick. Like, I've showed mad love to DNA, you know what I'm saying? And Don Marino in the past. So it's really not, I see where the perspective could come from. Like, oh, well, you was like this for one person, but like that for one. I just wanted him to do something different, use something different with a different delivery. That's just me. I could go eat at two different restaurants that serve the same food, but one has better. I could go eat at two different restaurants, two different Waffle Houses, two different Applebee's, two different Chili's, and one has a different delivery, one has a different way. Like, it don't have to be the same, but I want him to do good in his career and everything that he's got going on. He, Don Marino just had a battle versus Yana drop on you URL. Uh, go peep that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but to, for me, this is the first and last time I'm gonna speak about it. I'm never speaking about this again. Like I didn't even want to do a blog specif specifically on it because it didn't make any sense. But um, Kemba Walker just got traded. Yo, Michael Jordan has got to be the smartest GM, even though people try to make it seem like he was dumb. He was the only person that did not see in Kemba Walker what a lot of other people saw. And the Celtics just traded Kemba Walker and a first round draft pick. Back to the Celtics to Oklahoma City for Al Horford, bro. And the Celtics traded Al Horford to Philly. Now they're trading back for him again just for cap relief. That shit makes them look crazy because they gave Kemba Walker $160 million and now they have to dump him off because they he... He's not a he's not a he's not a point guard per se because he don't make people around him better. He's more like a shooting guard in a point guard body, but he's not like Allen Iverson where he could take over and dominate games. So it's so, so hard to find a specific spot for him because he's not a point guard. He's not gonna make anybody better around him. Like he's not gonna you're not gonna have average players turn to great players because Kemba Walker's on the floor. Kemba Walker is more of a scorer. And then when he's not scoring, he's just out there. So I don't know where he goes. I mean, I'm sure he'll find a look. Now, if he's on a loaded team with like veteran presence and he could just come in there and do his little thing and be out the way with it, that's one thing. But you're not gonna get Kemba Walker to lead a team. Uh, Brooklyn lost uh, going to game seven versus uh, Milwaukee. Giannis played way better. He stopped shooting three pointers. Uh, he took all his shots at the rim. Uh, Kevin Durant's gonna need another one of them 50 pieces though. He's going to need a 40 or 50 piece. Uh, Jeff Green and those guys, those, those games don't, tra don't translate on the road. Like scoring 27 at home, they're not going to, that doesn't translate on the road. So I knew that they would lose game six, but we'll see what happens in game seven. Um, overall, salute to all y'all out there who watch this content, whether religiously or passing. Like I said, without y'all, there's no us. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody who watches this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you could be doing anything in the world, but you're sitting here, you're watching this content, and it is what it is. Seeing shots at these pussies, hitting niggas high and low. Niggas climbing the gates, but doing deals on the low. Get a nigga here while I'm me in that Tokyo. Let me on me. Yeah, nigga, the steakhouse. Got the little drop of my folks, now it's a steakhouse. Yeah, I'm in love with my wife, but I don't play house. Catch a ton, kiss from this 40, call it a make.